Hello everyone. We will continue the topic ALV. In the last six videos, we covered how to create a field catalog. We covered both the ways to create a field catalog. We covered SAP function module as well as we manually generated the field catalog. We binded the data with the field catalog using list display and grid display. And we covered the difference also that from the first perspective, how the list output is, how the grid output is. Now we will use this function module to display the output or we can say that we will bind our data with the field catalog using this function module. Firstly, I will show you this function module in SAP system so that we can understand the meaning of this function module. I went to SC37 transaction code and I passed this function module. I will display this function module and show the purpose. This function module will display the output in the form of ALV. That is sure it will display the output in the form of ALV, but it will be a hierarchical ALV output. Hierarchical ALV output. Now the question comes, what do you understand by hierarchical output? Hierarchy means parent-child relationship. Suppose I will show you the sample program and we will develop same to same kind of requirement. I will run this program and show you the output so that you can understand what hierarchy means. This is your hierarchical output and it is a list output. Hierarchy we can only display as list. Sales document number, creation date, time, name, and category. These five columns are from header table VBAK. These three columns, sales document number, item number, material number are from VBAP table, item table. And you can see header data, item data, header data, item data, header item, header item, header item, header item, header data, item data. This is sometimes customer ask that I want the header and item data together in the form of hierarchy, in the form of hierarchical sequential. So at that time, we have to use this function module to give the to give the expected output to the customer and this is your hierarchical list display means header and item data for a particular record is showing together previously we combined and show in a single row header and item data but now it is not the case header and item data are together but in different rows it is your hierarchy hierarchy or you can understand it is a parent child relationship five all zeros 26 header data then we have the items of five all zeros 26 and yes many times customer ask this sort of output so We'll start with this particular requirement. We will use manual method to generate a field catalog. Then we will display the similar sort of output. I will go to SC38 transaction code and I will go for now hierarchical ALV, hierarchical ALV. I will give some name. I 
I'll just wait. I think system is slow. I'll click on to create button. I will give the title, suppose hierarchical display of order details. I will take the type as executable program. I'll save it as a local object. I will activate the program. I will take a input of order number, sales order number as a range of order numbers. So I will take a select option. Select options, S underscore VBELN for LV underscore VBELN and I will declare LV underscore VBELN. We already covered so many times how to declare a select option. I will provide the selection text. Sales order number. Go to text element selection text and I provided the text. I'm activating this. If I will execute my program, so my input is ready. Now we will fetch that data from both the tables one by one. So firstly, I will create a structure for VBAK, begin of structure name. We cover so many times, it's always a best practice to open that table in a separate session and simply copy paste from there. First column, type, data element. Second column, type data element. Third column, type data element. Fourth column, type data element. And then it's a fifth column. Type data element. We will end the first structure. I will declare the internal table and work areas. I will declare the work area now. LS underscore VBAK. Type my structure name. Now, I will declare the structure from VBAP. Similar copy paste we will do. Types begin of my second structure. First column is same to same VBELN I will take. Next column, postnar, type data element. Third column, matenar, type data element of matenar. End of. I will declare the second internal table and second work area. BBAP, BBAP, 
it is VBAP, VBAP. So we declared that two internal tables and two work areas. We will fetch that data now. Select. We want to fetch the data of five columns from first table. So I will mention those five columns. VBELN, ERDAT, ERZDT, ERNUM, VB type. I'll fetch from first table. First table is VBAK. I will store into internal table LT underscore VBAK and I will pass the where condition. And we covered so many times whenever you have a select option, you always, always have to use in. Now we will fetch data from foreign key table or item table that is VBAP. So we always have to check for prerequisite that our first internal table is not null, is not blank. So we are writing first internal table is not initial. Now we will fetch that data from second table. From VBAP table, I will store into second internal table and what will be the input to fetch data from second table for all entries in first internal table where VBELN is equal to first internal table VBELN. It means first internal table VBELN will act as a input to fetch data from VBAP table. It will fetch the data of these three columns and data will come into this internal table. In the previous videos, we already put so much stress that how these queries are Rest part, we will continue in the next video. Thank you.